The immobilizer can have different problems. It depends on the car make and year of manufacture. When the problem is in the immobilizer, the car does not react at all, only the lights on the instrument panel light up, the starter turns on, but the engine does not start, the starter doesn't turn over. Immobilizer problems can be different. What should we do? First of all, let's try and knock on the plastics under the steering wheel near the key lock. If it helps, it means the problem is in the wiring. Poor contact in the wiring. What do we do next? We remove the plastics and check the wires, contacts, plugs and apply contact cleaner. We check and, if it doesn't help, we look for the reason further. Next, I recommend checking the alarm if you have it on your car. Perhaps the reason is the alarm. It is also possible that we will have to replace the immobilizer unit itself or reprogram the key. Don't forget to also check the brake pedal. There is rubber under the brake pedal. Check her out. If it is damaged, the engine control unit does not receive a signal that the brake pedal is pressed and does not start the engine. There is another very important reason for immobilizer malfunction. Let's watch the video further, and I will show you how I managed to solve and eliminate the immobilizer problem. What are the common symptoms of immobilizer problems in car? Your vehicle's immobilizer is a powerful security component that stops your car from starting when the keys are not present. An immobilizer fault may stop your vehicle from starting at all. Immobilizer problems can have many causes. These include a damaged key fob, faulty immobilizer ECU engine control unit, faulty engine ECU, faulty wiring. The immobilizer system is a great piece of electronic security technology in your car which is generally used for theft deterrent. The following point defines the common symptoms to determine the immobilizer problems in your car. Locking problems. When you are using the key to lock the door of your car remotely, then you will notice that the door do not lock. It is clear indication of immobilizer issues in your car. Unlocking problems. Another sign of immobilizer problem is that you are unable to unlock the door of your car with the smart key. In this way, if you lock the door from the inside, then you are unable to get back into your car because the key of your car is unable to unlock the door. Engine starting problems. The most common sign of a problem in the engine immobilizer in your car is that it does not start at all. When you find out that your car engine does not make an attempt to start, then it clearly indicates a problem with either the immobilizer or the smart key itself. Ignition key does not turn on. When your car has a physical key and you insert them into the ignition, if you find out that it does not budge, you may have a problem within the transponder chip inside the k fob base. Uh, these problems are often accompanied by glowing or flashing immobilizer light. If your car is not starting, it might be a problem of immobilizer. I will show you how to fix this problem very easily in this video. First time when immobilizer was used was in 1994. It became essential for every vehicle. It is security system which defends car from stealing. There is chip in the car key which has unique code. Every car has its unique code. Immobilizer control module or control unit is made for reading this code. Send information to the car electronic control unit. Electronic control unit will read this code and if it match on the programmed data, car will start working. If data don't match, car will not start. If immobilizer control module is damaged, module can't read code. 
cannot send data to the electronic control unit. In this situation, car will not start walking. There is one way to solve this problem easily. Now I will show you my way which helped me and maybe it will help you too if you have immobilizer problem. For this you will need copper wire like this. Diameter 0.3 or 0.5 mm. Length about 2 meters. Watch me and then repeat what I do. I needed 15 curls of copper wire, maybe you will need 18 or 20 curls. After this we will assemble everything and try if car starts walking. If car does not start, we need to add curls. If adding curls don't work, this means that we need to find problem elsewhere or immobilizer control module is fully damaged. I hope this video is useful for you and if it helps write in the comments and tell us which car do you have.